Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So today I am playing in my color glue book. I had some things that I harvested last week or earlier this week. I don't know, it's all a blur. And I wanted to put those in this book. It's getting full very fast. I still have a few colors that need a lot of work my teal pages and I think I have some yellow or orange that needs some and pink surprisingly so I'm gonna work on those maybe next week and see if I can't fill up some of those pages I'm just using my little sponge there which I found works really good better than my saliva <laughs> that I have been using so I just dip my little finger in my wet sponge there and wipe off any glue that gets on the page but you have to be careful when you're adding like water or saliva whatever to wipe off your page because the magazine ink will sometimes come off and it'll remove all the color it also depends on which magazine it is some are worse than others but just keep that in mind don't you know maybe pat it don't rub it <laughs> that's what she said anyways um, so it's Friday. Bow, bow, bow. I'm excited. I'm excited because it's a big sports weekend. We've got the Super Bowl. I know a lot of you do not like the Super Bowl or sports. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with uh, the sports obsessed crafter. I'm really excited. My boys are excited. And like I've, I talk about every Friday, our, my family, we love the weekend. We just hang out together, we try new recipes, or all spend time kind of cooking in the kitchen and hanging out, and I don't know, it's just fun. I like my family. My, my little boys and my, and my hubby and the, the pepperonis. Tacos are for Tuesday. That's a lie. Tacos are for every day. Every day. Period. <laughs> Today, Bob, my husband, if you've been following his health journey, he has another appointment with the specialist today. I, it's kind of weird. I don't understand why he has to go in. I guess we'll figure it out. He doesn't really know either, but to go over his colonoscopy that he has to have, he's had many colonoscopies. So it's not like this is something new for him. So he's going in to talk to the doctor today. Um, there may be some other things that they need to go over. That's why they're asking him to come in. So We'll get that underway, and then once they do that and get that scheduled and figured out, then they will schedule his surgery. So I will keep you updated. Um, hopefully it's not during the time I'm supposed to go to the beach with my friends. We planned this well in advance, obviously before this even happened. So um, I told Bobby he I, I wasn't going to go because I wanted to save the money to pay for like medical bills and stuff. But he told me that I absolutely am going, that I need it, and he wants me to go. So, love my hubby. I love that he's so supportive. Um, so, anyways, hopefully his surgery and stuff isn't during that time. But I told him if that's when they want to schedule it, I just won't go on the trip. Because, obviously, my husband's health comes first. Hello. Plus, we kind of want to get this going. You know, we don't want to have another trip to the ER. My husband has issues with his colon if you're new here and he's getting it removed. So it's kind of this big long process. He was admitted into the hospital in November, spent a week there. Um, and this is the second time he's had to spend time in the hospital because he had a hole in his colon and was it was very life or death kind of situation. So Anyways, we have that going on, so I'm curious to see what they say. I'm also going to help my goddaughter make some valentines for her class, her first valentines party. They grow up so fast, don't they? They do. Speaking of growing up so fast, my little sister turned 39 yesterday. Nothing makes you feel old like your little sister turning 39. I mean, I only have one sister, but <laughs> she's my little sister, and I cannot believe she's going to be 40 next year. That just blows my mind. That's so weird to me. So weird. So a lot of the things that I'm gluing down today are words. I talked about this, I think, earlier in the week. Um, definitely when you're going through your magazines, look for words. If you're having a hard time finding stuff, I was thinking about this this morning. It could help to kind of 
trick your brain, if you will, to say like, I need blue items and then open up your magazine and just focus on blue and go through it. If you see things that, you know, you know, you need rip those out too. And then, you know, go through it again and, and put in your head, okay, now I'm looking for yellow. And I, it's almost like your brain gets hyper-focused and will look for that item. And I guarantee you, you're going to find things that you missed the first go around. At least that's what happens for me. Um, that's why I don't throw my magazines out after just one pass through. I go through them lots of times. Lots and lots of times. Plus, like my first go through of a magazine is like I'm getting all the best stuff. Like things that catch my eye right away. Things I know that are funny. You know, yada yada. And then it's, you know, I'll go through them at least three more times because I also work on different projects. And things that I skipped over the first time might be because you know, I'm working on a different type of book that didn't need that kind of item. Like I cut out, um, like medicine here. I just glued it down on the green page for IBS. I wouldn't put that in another kind of glue book, but it's green. So I'm putting it in this glue book. You know what I mean? So I would have totally passed that over if I was working in say my reporter glue book or, um, any kind of other, themed good but oh my gosh that's so distracting that's like a fighter jet going over my house right now they last forever Zena probably hightailed it into the bedroom she doesn't like them she doesn't like that noise she's so much better about noise now than she used to be really proud of her she's a sweet girl the other day, um, yesterday or the day, it was the day before yesterday. Sometimes when I'm in a lot of pain, my eyes just water. And I always kind of joke that my, it's my body's like just naturally crying or something. I don't know. It just happens when I'm in a lot of pain, my eyes water. And so I was sitting there and my eyes were watering. And all of a sudden she came up onto the couch, sat next to me, licked my tears, and then set her little baby, like her, her baby baby, not just a random baby. And by baby, I mean her stuffed animal, not an actual baby, by the way. <laughs> uh, she set it on my arm and then went and sat down. It was so sweet. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I love animals. They're just the best. Just the best. Absolutely love them. So sweet. And then, so, I think I got off track, but I was talking about looking for words that have color on them. So I am gluing a lot of those. Um, some of these I was going to use in my other glue book, but I thought, you know what? There's color. And then that thing on the side that says, if your walls could talk, they'd say subscribe, which I think is hilarious because, you know, obviously I want you to subscribe to my channel. Oh, and hit that like button. Thanks. Appreciate it, girl. I need to cut that down a little bit. And so I just kind of set it aside and I'll cut that at a different time and then put it in on my orange page. I almost thought about putting it on the cover of my glue book. So I might do that too. I don't know. And then I was going through some magazines the other day and there was like a living room scene and there was a purple chair and I'm like, need that. I need more purple taking that. <laughs> so it's so weird because sometimes you just kind of look over things. I, I do too. And when you go through it again, you find them. It's getting full. It's so funny because it feels so full, this book, but I still have so much space to glue things in. So much space. Walk strong. I should go for a walk today. I need to. That um, girl right there with the little like tube top thing, she actually came out of a book and it was black and white. And I, there was a, I found it at the thrift store and there was like a lot of different people like characters like her in there, like all different types. And it was like kind of like describing different people. Like there was a hipster and like all these different things. And so I cut them all out and then I colored them in with alcohol markers. And I've used them in my glue books the last, you know, two years, just kind of sporadically. But yeah, when you're looking for books for glue booking, if you go to the thrift store, flip through books to see you know, even if you find black and white images, you can color them. And here's another thing. If you love going to like the Dollar Tree or you love to color and you have lots of coloring books, grab a coloring book from the Dollar Tree, like especially one that maybe has like for little kids, 
and that has like bigger objects that you can color and stuff, cut them out, fussy cut those items out and then color them and put them in your glue book. Hello, right? Isn't that brilliant? So brilliant. I was looking through a coloring book the other day and I'm like, um, I need to cut out these images and color them and put them in my color glue book or any glue book for that matter. Um, a lot of adult coloring books have things you can fussy cut out, but yeah, definitely go to the Dollar Tree. Look at their coloring books and see if there's anything in there that um, you would like to color and put in your glue book. Or put them in your black and white page if you have a black and white page because they're already black and white. How many times can I say black and white? Oh my goodness. Putting all the words, weird Al. Ugh, rest in peace, man. And then I put my little package thing there. <laughs> I love that little thing. It actually is for, um, it's an ad for dog food that has a pug in it, actually. I was kind of thinking on that page right there, the one that says uh, Ralph Lauren, what if I just put all like black and white words on there? I kind of want to do that. I think that would look kind of cool. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video now. I'm going to do a little flip through of this when um, I'm done here. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. I look forward to spending some time with you next week. Don't forget to drink some water, stay hydrated, check out some coloring books at the store, and I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to like this video for me. I appreciate it. Love you. Bye.